This is an overview demo of vRealize AI Cloud, including the Storage Policy Genie Tech Preview. We navigate to vRealize AI Cloud from the vRealize Operations Cloud interface on the Optimized Performance pillar. We'll get some overview information in the upper right-hand corner of the vSAN Optimizer. This is showing us that 9 out of 16 clusters are enabled for optimization. On this outer ring, we can see the names of all the vCenters we have added to vRealize AI Cloud. And within those vCenters, each dot represents a cluster in that vCenter. In the lower left-hand corner, we have the various phases of optimization. Let's take a look at the various stages in the UI. We're seeing a negative 0.21 improvement on one cluster. This is showing that the cluster is underperforming, so we'd probably want to disable vRealize AI Cloud on this cluster, which I'll show you at the end of this demo. We'll typically see these underperforming clusters where there aren't enough resources to allocate towards optimization. This could be a cluster that's already oversubscribed. Now in this gray area, we haven't enabled optimization for these clusters. So there's three clusters where we're showing an overall decrease in performance, and so we probably wouldn't enable these. This is likely due to a cluster that doesn't have a lot of variable activity. Now let's take a look at the light blue area of the cluster. There's a potential improvement of 3.3 points. Points are based on 22 metrics that make up the health score. Now let's take a look at this gold area. We're seeing a 47 point health score improvement from 7 to 54 on three clusters where we've recently enabled vRealize AI and it's learning in this phase. The learning phase lasts about 7 to 10 days. Once it learns about the nuances of the specific environment, that cluster will turn green. Now, if we look at the green portion, this is where we have vRealize AI enabled on five clusters, and we're seeing an overall health score improvement of 14 points. Now, let's take a look at an individual vCenter. If we click in the gray area for the vCenter, we'll see the overall statistics specific to that environment. So we're seeing a 17-point improvement on two of the clusters and a potential improvement of 7.7 .7 points on one cluster. Now, if we want to take a dive into the details of the changes being made, we can click on one of the clusters that we've enabled optimization. Now we're going to take a look at all the hosts in the WDC00 cluster. And I'm going to update the time range, so we're just looking at the last 12 hours. And then if I click into a specific time range, I can see the changes made for the specific cluster. I'm showing a change that improved the health score by 20 points and the cache size was changed from 6.6 .6 to 5%. The write latency has improved when compared to doing nothing, but it decreased slightly when compared to leaving it at the default value. Now this is normal because we're looking at all the overall health score for the cluster. So let's take a look at another metric. For read latency, we can see there was a positive improvement in read latency when compared to doing nothing and also an improvement when compared to leaving this at the default value. If we look at read throughput, we see a positive improvement when compared to doing nothing and also a positive improvement when compared to leaving the read cache at the default value. And then for write throughput, we're seeing a slight decrease when compared to doing nothing, but an improvement when compared to leaving the read cache at the default value. Now I can scroll down to look at the changes over time and let me select another ESX host. I can view the cache size changes and I can also see the statistics for read and write latency and read and write throughput. Notice that these changes are made in half an hour intervals. Now let's take a look at the storage policy genie. This is currently in tech preview. We're able to do some manual changes to further optimize performance in our environment, and this tool will let us know the various options we have. With our performance objective set, we don't have any other options to optimize performance, but we also have an objective for capacity. So let's dive into that. On this first option, there is a potential to increase the health score by 24 points. 
And this is by changing the replica reference to five and the stripe width to three compared to the current value. Over on the right hand side, I can see the score breakdown. And so this is going to show me a new benefit score of 75.2 if I change the selected storage policy recommendation. Again, these are all manual changes because they are intrusive to the environment. And if we click into another one here, we'll see a 13 point improvement with some other changes. So this is a failures to tolerate change to two and the replica instance reference change to six with a stripe width of three. Now, lastly, I wanted to show you how to enable vRealize AI Cloud. So we're gonna hop back to a cluster that has not been enabled for optimization. This is where we can toggle AI on and off for the cluster. I actually don't have administrative rights to this environment, so I am not able to change this. But if you wanted to enable vRealize AI, you could do so by flipping the toggle to the right, and it would change to the gold color and move to the learning phase. I hope you've enjoyed this overview demo. Stay tuned for more updates on the VMware vRealize Cloud Management YouTube channel.